Hello Artisans, just want to wish you a happy Friday and a great fall break coming up and wanted to update you on a couple quick things. Um, <clears throat> just want to reach out and say thank you for all the community support and, and all the great things that our parents and our kids have done to get us to this point with COVID. Um, and I want you to know that here moving forward, we are having conversations internally about how do we potentially reduce some restrictions and how do we get back to even a little bit more normalcy. Um, one of those things is, is we'll be looking at over the next couple of months is what do our Wednesdays continue to look like and do those need to change um, and do we look like more of a five-day schedule and so as promised back in May or June whenever I brought forth the original COVID plan um, we will look at this again and we'll have some new recommendations for the school board um, closer to December so please know that that's coming I'd also like to reach out and, and just mention that um, we have some amazing community partners who uh, every time we need something come out of the woodwork to help us so people like Home Bank Community Foundation, the Elks Club, the VFW, the American Legion, um, the list is huge. Duke Energy, um, it just goes on and on and on. And so um, I just want to say thank you to all of our partners who make this possible and, and when we are in times of need really come through. Um, one additional thing I want to clear up um, before we slide out of here for fall break and, and have hopefully an amazing football uh, night. Um, I just want to mention that I, I am aware that there's some communication going on. I believe it's, it's politically uh, charged and is related to the, the current election. Um, there's information being shared that we are $6 million in the hole and that we are significantly down in enrollment up to 600 plus kids um, this particular school year. That is not accurate and is not true. Um, we, in this year, because we knew COVID was here and we were going to have to do things differently and there were going to be expenses, we back in May began tightening our belts and so we will actually be moving money from this particular budget, the 2020 budget, into the 2021 budget to make sure that we have enough money for next year um, given our reduction in students because as with all school districts, all school districts have taken a dip in enrollment as a result of COVID. Um, and so even on a normal year, if we were going to reduce students, we exponentially have lost students, but it is not anywhere near 600. Um, <clears throat> us moving money to next year's budget will be extremely helpful in making sure that programs for next year are not, are not impacted. And so we will, we're reducing this school year, we will reduce into next school year, and that will get us to where we need to be. Um, and we'll make the appropriate adjustments for the 2022 budget when it comes time. So again, thank you for understanding that. If you have any questions about any of that, or you feel like information is being shared that's not correct, feel free to reach out to me, reach out to our business director, uh, Jeremy Ogden, reach out to your local principal of the school that your child attends. We'd be more than happy to try and uh, get answers for you that you might have about um, anything related to the MSD in Martinsville. So on that note, I want to again wish you a happy fall break and uh, weather's supposed to be beautiful this weekend. So enjoy and we'll see you all in about a week.